A wild and suspicious fire destroyed a two-story family house in southwest of Sydney 36 hours. After the police raided property, firefighters ran to the newly renewed Padstow Heights house just before 19.30 on Saturday and found that he was swallowed in a big fire. The neighbors told Nine News that the flames had two big booms long before they started to break away from the house. A wild and suspicious fire destroyed a two-story family house in southwest of Sydney on Saturday night after the police raided property. When fire started, the owners were not at home, but they returned from six firefighters to crew fighting fire. The owner, who had a father or two, tried to get in, but he was stopped by the firefighters who dragged him back. Instead, he watched the fire burning his house while standing next to his wife and children. Police confirmed that they had raided the house as part of the ongoing investigation and seized them on laptops and phones. Fire and Rescue NSW Inspector Darren Lessie. Inferno's brutality recorded. The police raided the property the day before a big fire destroyed him. Fire was very busy. He said. The crew worked for two hours to extinguish the flames and protecting neighboring houses and did a great job. Witness Les McIntosh was also in awe of fire. The flames were licking well above trees. And as you can see, the house is very down in valley. He said, so this must be some fire. Intensive fire burned a two-level house in Padstow Heights. Investigations about the cause of the fire are still in progress but it is considered as a suspect. It seems that the fire started downstairs. A judicial unit returned home today, supported by fire inspectors and an accelerating dog. Detectives now examine the evidence, including Security S to determine how and why the house and everything is burned.